features in release 12.1.3. To start with, the first new feature is supplier contact points. Within supplier directory, you can now indicate contact points of phone numbers, email addresses, or URLs for organization or person party types. So if I go to Oracle applications, I can see that information here. So when you go to contact directory, and if you see, if you say, for instance, if I update a contact here, I can add more information such as like email, URL, or, you know, further information out here. The second type is import supplier details using spreadsheet. So this is a second new feature. Now this spreadsheet feature is those of you who are familiar with other areas of Oracle applications. If you could recall, there was a something called as an ADI, which uh, used to be there in general ledger module. So similarly, Oracle has introduced the same concept of web ADI through which one can import the supplier profile details using or leveraging that uh, web ADI feature wherein it looks pretty much same as supplier spreadsheet but is also directly connected to Oracle so just by a, a, a couple of clicks you can simply bring a whole lot of information of your suppliers from an Excel sheet into Oracle then uh, you have another new feature is generate supplier profile report. You can now generate and publish supplier profile report using Oracle BI publisher. So as most of you would be aware, a BI publisher helps to reduce customization and gives you various report outputs such as Microsoft Word, Excel or HTML through simply configuration of the report output in BI Publisher. So if you go to Oracle applications and if you look at the supplier profile out here you will see a button called a generate report. So that's what when you click on that will actually generate the report of this supplier profile all this information through what you have configured in in um, the BI Publisher. Sections of supplier profile in RFI Enabling supplier and item supplier profile attribute regions as header and line controls. Integrating header attachments with supplier profile attachments as header controls. So basically, uh, you can simply integrate supplier profile information in RFI so that once the RFI is complete, the results of RFI that you have mapped with supplier profile directly get imported in the supplier profile. And the same thing holds good for attachment. The header level attachments of RFI can be integrated with supplier profile attachment at the header level. So once the RFI is complete, the mapped attachment gets sucked into supplier profile. So if I go into an RFI, let me just show you how it is done. If I go to this responsibility and here you've got an RFI, let's just create a new RFI. And I've got a couple of templates out there. See, so I'm creating a performance evaluation RFI. And if I now go on to the mapping, okay. If you now go on to the mapping and that's what I was telling you that you can now map your information from your RFI to what's there in your supplier profile. So as you could see out here in supplier profile you've got things like business classification, general classification. So you can you can map that information in these regions and leverage the functionality of what you call as user defined attributes. And once an RFI is complete, this mapped information will be sucked into RFI and that you can use it for further reporting or further analysis purposes. So that's basically the new features 
that you've got in release 12.1.3 as far as Oracle Supplier Lifecycle Management module is concerned.